Starting this year, Hawaii residents over the age of 21 can legally carry and purchase a taser or stun gun for self-defense. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Kalihi with more on the new law. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross, and here joining us on Wake Up Today to tell us more about what we need to know. We have Ed Howard, who is the president and CEO of Pax Bella Security Solutions Hawaii. Good morning, Ed. Good morning. So let's continue our conversation. We're talking about tasers and stun guns now being available for anyone who is 21 years and older to legally purchase and carry for self-defense purposes. But tell us about the training. What does the law require? Well, the first thing the audience should know is that owning, possessing, using electric conducted weapons, it's a big responsibility. You know, everybody should know that. And training has to be robust. So what I would what I would say and recommend is if you're if you're being offered training that's less than three hours, it's not gonna be robust enough. Okay. Um, the way the law is written is there's it requires an informational briefing. Um, but in my opinion, uh, that is not training. So the training you want is a deep dive into civil liability, uh, the use of force laws in the state of Hawaii, uh, de-escalation, and maybe some tactics. And the, probably the biggest thing that I will say is that if you deploy this weapon against another person, there's going to be accountability issues. Mm -hmm. And the accountability issues is something that we would cover in our training, how to engage or interact with the police, um, statements and articulation of what occurred, facts and circumstances that led you to uh, utilize, you know, the weapon for self-protection or protection of others or your property. So there's a lot that goes into this. It's not just an informational briefing. Um, people who want to own this and possess it and possibly use it for self-defense has to be trained properly and need to seek out the right curriculum for for this type of uh, training. Yeah, it's a good point to really understand the law, really from the, all details of it, especially if you get into that situation. But let's talk about the time span. Say if someone is interested or a security group is interested, how long would it take for someone or a group to go through the training and to get their background check and then finally get a taser or stun gun to use? Um, so basically the end user or the person who wants to own and possess one of these weapons, um, you do need to have a background check through your county police departments, and you also need to receive a certification of the training that you took. These are two documents that a dealer or seller, distributor, has to be able to verify before they actually sell a weapon. So, um, you know, what's the time frame of those? You got probably uh, may take the background check may take uh, weeks. Um, the training, depending on you know where and how it's offered, uh, my firm is going to start offering training on January 22nd. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about some of the others, um, but it, it's all timing, and um, you just stay on top of it and and move through the process. All right, I have one quick question, and say if there is someone who is in this situation, say they have their background check done here in Hawaii, they have the training done here, but they want to go to a different state. Are they allowed to travel with a taser or stun gun or even use it in another state where it is legal? Or will they have to go through the training all over again? So the, the best advice I can give you is you definitely have to check the state laws. And if you're going to transport it out of state, you also, you're probably going to need to check with TSA, uh, FAA, and um, you know, to see what's legal and how you would transport that weapon. Ed, thank you so much for joining us here on Wake Up Today. Of course, we're going to continue this conversation on our Take Two show in about 30 minutes. But if you want some more details on what to know about this new law, head over to our website at KH12.com. Reporting over here at the scene, Dallas Anaveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. 739 right now over on Maui. It is a great opportunity to get into the healthcare industry. Jack Giss from KY Raider Group has more on that. Morning, Jack. Good morning. Here's Lisa.